What is going on everyone? I'm Nuxpro and welcome to this Escape from Tarkov video. This video is going to be your complete guide to dorms and area on the map customs. It's the most popular area on the map. It has high value loot. We're going to go over where all those loot spots are, jackets. We're going to talk about Rashala. We're going to talk about unconventional ways to get in and out of the dorms. Uh, some PVP tips like what do you do if you're trapped down this hallway? We're gonna go into a whole bunch of different things um, But let's get right into it. Don't forget to subscribe. We're almost at 14,200 Subscribers and also if you want to watch me play Tarkov live twitch.tv slash Nux pro now let's go over dorms mother <laughs> All right, so this is dorms. That's three-story dorms. That's two-story dorms. Apologize for the weather, but um, it's just a rainy day in Tarkov. But highly recommend you watch the whole video. I'm gonna be going over a lot of different information. There, I got four wipes of experience, so I have a lot to say. So let's start with third-story dorms. Let's uh, just go over entrances first. I'm going to show you the traditional ways and some untraditional ways. Obviously, we can go through the front door there. On this side, the construction side, we can enter through every door. So every floor is open. If you go to the opposite side, you can only go uh, inside through the second floor. Now for some unconventional ways, um there for this side there's the loud way and the not loud way so um a good cue is if you are on the third floor and you hear like window smashed that is a good sign that um somebody is coming in through the first floor because even you, you usually can't hear the footsteps but you'll definitely hear the window break and that's a good indication that um someone has entered now the quiet way is right here just jump on the box whoops jump on the box and then you just jump right in and i like that way because most of the time people on third floor aren't going to hear you come in um obviously results will vary Now this side, we can only enter through second floor, locked and locked. Um, sometimes, a lot of the times there is a car extract here. It is called officially the dorms VX extract. Um, you do need 7,000 rubles to take the car and get out. It's also a 60 second uh, timer once you uh, give the money to the car. If you have a high fence rep, the amount is a little lower, like 6,600. Uh, coming to the back side, um, you can't enter through here, but if you're a weirdo, you can uh, get up on these and jump in. You can kind of hide in here, but you know, that'd be kind of weird. This area is not trafficked too much to, to really camp that, but good to know and the last way i'm going to show you to get into the first floor um is the uh, bathroom here just walk right on this uh blue stash jump in and you're in um this is good if someone's fighting rashala on this floor you can kind of flank the rashala and the guards um so good to know so let's go over what we got on the first floor there's really not much um the only reasons you'd be going to dorms in terms of loot would be jackets safes and um the marked room so on this floor there's only two rooms i would concern yourself with we have this room right here i think it's 101 we got two jackets and then we got 104, one jacket. Um, you can find Rashala will spawn in this floor sometimes. Um, he's usually hanging out over there. You can usually, this isn't a Rashala video, but you can usually like 
kill one and they'll start sometimes they'll just start running towards you and they'll be easy kills um there is a file cabinet in here again wouldn't really worry about that too much over here rishala loves to hide in the bathroom uh sometimes you find stuff here oh power bank that's not bad um nuts bolts power bank um back here this room's got a file cabinet and a um computer again wouldn't wouldn't carry the key not not a big deal and then on here sometimes we get um i found cpu fans but mostly you find food and then over here there's pretty much nothing that i would concern yourself with there uh is um a jacket in here again wouldn't worry about um a locked room with a jacket but um a common pvp thing in here is maybe you're looting rishala because the, the bodies are over here and somebody comes in from that side um easy escapes are obviously through here as i showed you before through there as i showed you before and we could also jump out through the kitchen so that's pretty much it for the first floor let's head to the second now in the second this is kind of where we start getting um, better loot so on the second floor in terms of rishala um you can find him hanging out all through this area here and they love hanging out in the bathroom so keep that in mind um three wooden boxes you have food spawns here so you know you get into a big fight you're low on energy and um hydration you got your you got food that spawns there um a uh, good rule of thumb if you just want to see if the car extracts here uh, you can come in this room take a peek and then two jackets over here there's a jacket in there but again it's locked wouldn't worry about it too much another escape route you can push over here you know if you hear fighting over there this is a good spot to you know get some snipes or get some shots on people um safe number one 214 safes are always good safe right there sometimes you find some shitty ammo there wouldn't worry about that too much going over this side um sometimes you find this door open um that usually means there's a scav around the scavs usually open this door it'd be rare that a player just opened this door but um just something good to know jump up on here free computer we have jackets in here this one only spawns machinery key so don't loot that one unless you need that we got a jacket here and then we got two jackets right here and then we have 204 where we just have a safe right there and then sometimes you find like magazines and random crap in here um again i think you should only be looting jackets that um are not behind locked doors um keys are loud they give away your position um and i don't know there's enough jackets that aren't behind locked doors to really worry about it but that's pretty much second floor um you can get some good loot even if you hit these wooden crates on the way out of your uh you know your the raid um you can get some decent stuff um oh and sometimes you find mags here so uh, i find svd mags here all the time so those can go for a little bit the 20 rounders all right um so let's go to the third floor now this floor is usually the most pvp heavy floor because it has the most high valued room in customs and that's the marked room so here we are the marked room it's technically 314 
again gives you the most high highest valued loot in um the map sometimes you get crap like here it's got sr25 and some luger ammo um some stuff to take note here um first jackets there's two here um food spawns here sometimes um hiding spots you always want to check this corner here this is a really good spot for somebody to hide because say you're just coming through here quick you check your room and then you move forward you can sometimes miss this guy that's why if you watch streamers they usually actually check that spot um also here you can sometimes miss somebody can be hiding here and sometimes people hide over here but um you should be able to see them um if you at least peek over so pvp stuff um it's pretty common that you'll you know you hit mark and then somebody will come up either from the door or from the stairs and you're kind of pinned down here um you can do some spider-man stuff uh you know this would be the more extreme thing to do but you can jump here on this ledge you can jump on that air conditioner you can even kind of like if you move slowly you can kind of get on that ledge and then hop um get down without breaking your legs um the one most people know about is leaving dorms like this and slowly slowly walking off and you should not break your legs if you have a book bag you're gonna want to throw your book bag off the building first because if you do have any weight um you will potentially break your legs um another tactic more for and there's a weapon box here never advise being on this platform you're very exposed a lot of people look here um you're really looking to get sniped if you uh do that um but this kind of works like if you're you know if if you catch a guy over there and you yourself are pushing you can go over here a lot of people don't know you can do that and you might surprise the shit out of this guy or him might not expect you being here um so that's a thing high enough strength you can actually jump over here to there um same thing you know maybe you're here and you're kind of like in a, you're in like a little fight and he he might be aiming down sight thinking you're here and you can kind of do one of these and this is all like fighting experience you'll get and you can surprise them um you know you'll get that the more you play the game you'll start learning you know that type of stuff but um just things i want you to keep in mind if you are on fights up here um you can jump out this window again it's never advised to get go off the third story um windows but right here you can just nicely land on that easy um, that's useful if there's a guy down there and maybe you're getting pushed over here you kind of run out of options just to get out of there um rishala spawns on this floor um they'll be all along the floor rishala likes to hang out by the bathroom like usual not all the time but most of the time um sometimes you'll open this door and you'll have them just be here so keep that in mind um this room here you find food so that's good to know and then over here jackets two more free jackets for you um this bathroom over here it's kind of cool to know this you can jump on the toilet catch people um making their way over the dorms pretty good spot i'm catching them go over this hill here um what else I think that's pretty much it um you know like i said uh, i'm not gonna go over you know looting dumb stuff i mean i think this is all the important stuff um you can jump out here and do like one of those right you can jump oh jump there 
I mean, when you add max strength and stuff, you can kind of do some crazy stuff. I saw Willers jump out this window, jump to that, and jump up there, which is freaking insane. But that's third story. Now, entering second story, well, let's first go over um, these cars here. Sometimes, well, not sometimes. Sometimes you'll find food and crap here. Meds. I found Saliba's here before. And you got a grenade box. Now, entering two story. Um, you can enter through the front door. Um, let's talk about this right side first. So, first floor is blocked. So, you're not able to ac access this side. Um, without either going through this door, which is kind of the most more exposed way because you do have people traveling through here. Um, that door is locked permanently. So ways you can do this. If you're coming from third, jump on the shopping cart, jump on the shopping cart, jump in, bang, you're inside. If you're coming from the back side, all you have to do, no jumps, just walk up on the blue container, jump in. Easy, right? And the only thing that is worth your while in this whole section here, there are jackets in here, but they're behind a locked door, so I wouldn't worry about that, is a safe. This is uh, 105, and we got a safe. And then you find cool stuff like military cables and hoses and um, that type of stuff there. Um, going more on entering two stories. Um, on this side, you can only enter through the second floor. So you can't use that door. You can only use that one. And a pretty popular, easy way to get in here um is just run up on these garbage then you jump whoa it's jumped way too much all right I, I don't know what was going on there but we're in um dead scav there you can loot now the two main thing there's a lot of stuff here um the main thing that you would really be here for are the safes um the guard desk key here you can get some weapon boxes and, and grenade boxes Wooden crate, duffel, like again, you wouldn't be going to dorms just for this stuff, right? We're pretty much want the big stuff. Um, weapon box, um, jackets, duffel bag. So the two safes here, um, 114 and 110. Safe, sometimes you find some goodies there and on here. And then, oh, what is this? 114, safe, computer, meds. I mean, that's pretty much all I would even worry about here. Um, now, if you are pinned back here, say you just come out and there's a dude, um, there's a few things you can do. You can get out that way, or you can get out that way. And you can actually jump in this way too. Um, it's kind of a trickier jump jump and you kind of have to like double jump and he kind of just goes in um but you can practice this in offline mode if you want uh, see i don't know it's weird like he kind of does like a double jump and you can jump in um if you practice it you'll get it but um you're not going to use that too much to enter in anyway probably um but yeah, so if you're pinned over here, that's ways you can get out or you can kind of just like push forward and push through here and just jump out. Now, the second floor of two stories, there's really not much I would concern yourself with except jackets. So we'll start with this side first. Um, you know, there's a quest here, file cabinet here. Again, I wouldn't really worry about file cabinets. Um, what is this? 202, there's two jackets in here. Um, 
kind of like the other side you can jump up in this toilet and kind of get a good angle on people in those uh really specific situations two file cabinets in here um but a really good spot for jackets is you got the the bathroom here two jackets you got two jackets here across the hall you know remember sometimes good players they'll actually look over here so you want to not that you want to search and hit your prone button so you don't get shot in the head um and then there's pretty much nothing else um really worth it here what is it is it this one that has the two what is this one right here 216 has two or just one weapon box i mean again you shouldn't be going to dorms for weapon boxes and um oh there you go there are the two wooden crates for weapon boxes and jackets you're looking for them high value keys um mark room obviously in the safes um this place is too dangerous to really be going for anything else unless you're scaving in uh in terms of rashala he's usually on this floor he's rarely downstairs sometimes the um guards will roam down there but um most of the time they're just here and usually rashala will spawn there it's kind of on the rare side that he spawns here but he does spawn here um and you know jumping out of here is not as uh, dangerous as jumping from the third story obviously um you can kind of do your spider-man thing here and try to like like hit there and then hit down so you go down safely but um that's pretty much it I, I went a little faster than i thought again you know you're pretty much only going here for pvp the mark room jackets safes or quests for Ashala. um but combine all that stuff you know usually brings a lot of people over here so this is definitely the most dangerous place on customs um but i hope this video helped you out i know it's a lot of information um just have a lot of experience if i missed anything important um throw it down in the comments and uh please like the video it helps a lot with getting my videos noticed we're almost at 14,200 subscribers so um if you could subscribe as well um that would be awesome and if you want to watch me play tarkov on stream twitch.tv slash nux pro good luck and uh thanks for watching